हेलो चैंपियंस वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल बाय जूस ग्रेट सिक्स सेवन एंड एट सो दिस इज योर मैथ एक्सपर्ट अर्श एंड I am your teacher Ashwarya and we welcome you to today's challenge on yes. let's quizical. Yes. So ma'am I think today we have a very interesting class for them right? Yeah. So today we are going to compete like you all are going to compete actually <laughs> and aaj hone wali logical reasoning ki problems bachcha and I know sabhi bachcho ko logical reasoning wale questions solve karne bahut pasand hai right? To bahut maza aane wala hai we want your full 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 on participation kyunki aaj कि क्विज में होने वाले हैं मैम कितने राउंड्स फाइव राउंड्स यस सो वी हैव टोटल फाइव राउंड्स एंड इन ईच राउंड विल बी हैविंग टू क्वेश्चंस वन क्वेश्चन विल बी फॉर अर्श मैम का टीम एंड द अदर क्वेश्चन विल बी फॉर ऐश्वर्या मैम का टीम सो दिस इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड ऑल द राउंड्स सो जल्दी से पहले तो हमें जल्दी से बता दो कि वी आर कंप्लीटली ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड यू ऑल आर डूइंग एब्सोल्युटली अमेजिंग जल्दी से गिव अस हार्ट्स इन द चैट बॉक्स सो वी कुड नो यस यू आर सुपर डुपर एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस सेशन यस एवरीवन Good evening, good evening. So we can see so many students are yeah. here, and they are already very excited. And make sure you share this with a lot of your friends, right? We need to have at least two hundred people in this particular quiz because I need all the help I can get <laughs> when it comes to you know. See, I'm pretty decent with logical reasoning, but I'm very slow. See, I'll be very honest. Okay, I don't want to ride the high horse telling that I'm very <laughs> you know. I say, uh, ma'am is the expert in all this, but in my case, I'm very slow, so I need lot of help, right? I'm also very competitive at the same time. So very quickly, students. make sure you share this video with all of your friends right yes. and we need to have good number of students watching i'm i'm having my eye here to see how many <laughs> students are here yes so mom i okay. see you see the lot of regular yeah. students lot of yeah. new students yes i'm sure that they're all excited to see what we're doing today yes to aaj bacha definitely definitely bahut maza aayega aap logo ko so everybody before we start the session let's hit the like button first what do you say jaldi se josh dikhao like button ko hit karte hain and then we will get on with our today's session okay हे हे अक्षय हेलो ऐश्वर्या हाय दिलीप हेलो पूर्वी गरिमा दिव्य ज्योत मनीषा भी है सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स ओवर हियर रेडी टू कंपीट यस मैम मेनी ऑफ देम आर सेइंग बोथ ऑफ यू आर माय फेवरेट सो हाउ डू वी पिक वन टीम या सो इट्स नॉट अबाउट सी इन आवर केस वी ऑलवेज टेल राइट कंपटीशन इज फॉर यू जस्ट इट्स लाइक अ यू नो व्हाट डू यू से इट्स लाइक अ स्मोक स्क्रीन काइंड ऑफ थिंग इट्स जस्ट फॉर यू टू यू नो काइंड ऑफ हैव दैट बट एंड ऑफ द डे मैम व्हाट एवर पॉइंट्स वी गेट इंडिविजुअली इट्स एक्चुअली देयर स्कोर टुवर्ड्स द एंड राइट यस so you can't just pick the teams <laughs> over here because for both the questions you are going to be the one who are participating and you will be the one answering those questions to jo bhi aapka result aayega we'll explain you the rules yeah. in we- in the next few minutes so everybody is ready yes 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 so i think sh- uh, we should move forward yes and ma'am let's explain them the rules how we are go- going to go about it okay so over here dekho क्या होगा सिंस वी हैव फाइव राउंड्स हर राउंड में है दो क्वेश्चंस सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन के लिए वी हैव लाइक सेपरेटेड टू टीम्स फॉर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अर्श मैम का टीम सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऐश्वर्या मैम का टीम राइट एंड फॉर ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू आंसर इन द पोल सो विल बी गिविंग यू द पोल्स तो जो मैक्सिमम परसेंटेज होगी जो सही आंसर देंगे दैट इज द स्कोर वी आर गोइंग टू राइट ऑन द स्कोर बोर्ड ठीक है सो फॉर नाउ स्कोर बोर्ड है जीरो जीरो पे ठीक है विद एवरी क्वेश्चन विल बी राइटिंग द परसेंटेज जो कि सही आंसर की रहेगी ऑन दी स्कोर बोर्ड एंड विल कंपीट लाइक दैट इन एवरी सिंगल राउंड ओके सो आई थिंक वी शुड गेट स्टार्टेड Yes, and every, a lot of them are saying, "Ma'am, shouldn't it be Saurabh sir here? We came for Saurabh sir. I tagged <laughs> in for Saurabh sir because Saurabh sir's class went on a little longer. There was yeah. some, you know, things like scheduling things that happened. But don't worry, I'm representing Saurabh sir. So, yes. how many of you Saurabh sir support us there? Then you know, right? Like I'm, ta- I'm just tagging in for him. Yes. But I think, ma'am, very quickly, one thing that we'll have to say is that the questions that are going to appear, right? Mm-hmm. You will have time and you will have a poll. But ideally, I would recommend if you are someone who a big i mean not a big enough but maybe you're a little slow mm-hmm. with aptitude but having a notebook and pen right yes that is uh, recommended jaldi se notebooks and pen leke aa jao kyunki uske bina i think क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करना थोड़ा मुश्किल yeah. हो सकता है तो फास्टेस्ट आंसर दोगे करेक्ट आंसर दोगे वो तभी पॉसिबल है अगर आप तैयारी के साथ बैठो चलो जल्दी से एवरीबॉडी गेट योर रफ पेपर्स और योर नोटबुक्स एंड पेन विद यू ओके and please please don't spam telling uh, saurabh sir saurabh sir or don't go to his class in 9th and 10th saying sir when are you finishing you come there sir's class will go on long right your seniors yeah. have exams so see i'm tagging in i'll bring in all i'm not funny but i will bring in some <laughs> enthusiasm <laughs> 
No, you are. No, they wrong. won't. They just want him to crack jokes also. Yeah. Okay, that is there. But hello, <laughs> I am also funny. Yes, she is. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, make people laugh. <laughs> Chalo. So star. Let's start with the round number one, which is ranking race. Oh. So, ma'am, I'm very nervous. This ah. logical reasoning and maths and everything. No, I mean I'm good, but I get very nervous. I think we have all the kids over here who are going to help us out. Yeah. In each and every round. Okay. So first is Arsh ma'am's question. So yes. this is going to be for Arsh ma'am's team. Ma'am, all the best to you okay. and all the best to all of you there. Yes, everyone. Ready, everybody. Chalo ji. So here comes your question number one. So the question says, Preeti scored more than Rahul. Yash scored as much as Divya. Lalita scored less than Manju. Rahul scored more than Yash. Manju scored less than Divya. Who scored the lowest? ध्यान से क्वेश्चन को पढ़ो एक एक स्टेटमेंट को लिख के देखो एंड देन देखो कि सबसे कम किसने स्कोर किया है यहाँ पे सो यू हैव फोर ऑप्शंस विद यू प्रीति दिव्या राहुल और ललिता ओके सो आई थिंक पोल इज देयर इन द चैट एवरीबॉडी तो जल्दी से जल्दबाजी भी नहीं करनी है तो ट्राई टू फाइंड द राइट आंसर फर्स्ट एंड येस Students, one quick thing: if you're thinking, "Arey, ma'am, how is all this going to be helpful, ma'am?" These kind of questions come in Olympiads as well, Definitely. right? Definitely. Like in all the competitive exams, if you see, the first paper is all about your logical reasoning. Okay, it's all about the mat. Okay, so these type of questions actually helps you out. It will prepare you for all the competitive exams that you are going to get give in the future. Okay, so बस ये बहुत फायदे की चीजें होती हैं. ये बहुत फायदे के क्वेश्चन हैं. ये हर जगह आपको मिलेंगे. तो अभी से तैयारी करते हैं ना? Yeah. And don't worry, we'll bring UT prep for you also. I know they're saying, ma'am, it's not just seniors. Even we have, we'll yeah. come soon. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll have some syllabus to finish for you guys. So we'll wind that up and we'll start. Uh, of course. So we can see there are so many students answering in the chat. Oh, I'll also try answering. Yes. Why not? So we have one eighty-five students over here, and one twenty-five already answered the question in the poll. Well okay. done, everybody. Vote for the right answer. Which one is the right answer? Yes, yes. ma'am is pushing for all of you to give the right answer. <laughs> oh, poll okay. is done, ma'am. Okay, so poll is done. So we have forty percent students saying D, which is the correct answer. So for this particular question, we will have forty score basically. Okay, yeah. out of hundred, we are going to write the scores over here. Okay, so Lalita is the very right answer. So how did we get Lalita over here? चलो चेक करते हैं sixty percent बच्चों का जो गलत आया है. Let's see. कैसे करना था प्रीति स्कोर्ड मोर देन राहुल सो आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग प्रीति एस पी एंड राहुल एज आर तो ऐसे लिख सकते हैं प्रीति स्कोर्ड मोर देन ओके आई थिंक इट्स हाइडिंग बिहाइंड ऐश्वर्या मैम सो आई राइट इट हियर प्रीति स्कोर्ड मोर देन राहुल करेक्ट वेट आई एल राइट इट हियर राइट सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज यश स्कोर्ड एज मच एज दिव्या तो यश और दिव्या का स्कोर एकदम सेम है ललिता स्कोर्ड लेस देन मंजू ललिता का स्कोर मंजू से कम है राहुल स्कोर्ड मोर देन यश ओके राहुल का स्कोर यश से भी ज्यादा है हु स्कोर्ड द लोएस्ट एंड देन वी हैव मंजू स्कोर्ड लेस देन दिव्या मंजू का स्कोर दिव्या से कम है ठीक है आई थिंक सम ऑफ द टेक्स्ट इज हाइडिंग मंजू स्कोर इज लेस देन दिव्या तो बस आपको कंपेयर करना था सबसे कम स्कोर किसका है देखो प्रीति का स्कोर राहुल से ज्यादा है राहुल का स्कोर यश से ज्यादा है तो कहने राइड इट लाइक दिस प्रीति इज ग्रेटर देन राहुल राहुल का स्कोर यश से ज्यादा है एंड रश एंड दिव्या दे आर स्कोरिंग इक्वली तो इन दोनों का स्कोर इक्वल एंड वॉट वॉट दिव्या दिव्या हैज मोर स्कोर देन Manju, so Divya has greater score than Manju, and Manju has greater score than Lalita. So, one single sentence me we got this relation. So, सबसे कम स्कोर किसका आया है? Over here we have Lalita. तो बस आपने कंपेयर करना था ये सबके स्कोर्स को. Clear everybody? So, fourth is the right option over here. चलो, let's move to the question number two now. This is round one. Okay. Get ready. So, I hope all of you are ready. This looks like a pretty easy one. Pulkit was both 17th highest and 17th lowest in an aptitude test. How many people were there in the context? So now your options are 34, 36, 35, and 33. I can see some Pulkit in the class as well. <laughs> Arey, we'll have periodic test preparation for you also. Don't worry. I like how. I like how you think I'm very logical. <laughs> My parents will laugh if they know. They keep saying that you should build your logical skills. But this is easy peasy question. But ma'am, I think this is also pretty tricky, right? Yeah. There are two options in which yes. you can get confused, 
and I can see that the polls are live, the polls are available. Now 62% of you have voted for option A followed by 7% for option B and oh, looks like option A is winning ma'am. Some yes. of them are, there's a fight between C and D, 16%, mm. 15%. But 145, I think around 160 votes, 170 votes in because I see that almost 190 plus students are watching. Yes. And hey, if you are so many here and you're enjoying this class, you should hit the like button. Quickly hit the like button, everyone. And I think, yes, we can wind up the polls. Yes. And I can see how everybody's selling halwa question. <laughs> okay. And your time's up, everybody. <laughs> Correct answer. I mean, as per students, they are saying, ma'am, 34%. Yeah, that was a silly mistake. Silly mistake because I also made this mistake when I was solving it. So ma'am, I'll try doing this. You yes. can correct me if I go wrong. Oh, I, I'm getting cut. <laughs> you can correct me if I'm going wrong anyway. Yeah. Students, it is not 34. 34 is what we think it is, right? We do 17 plus 4, 17. In between, we say yes. that, you know, half is at that point. So it should be 34, right? Because 34 by 2 is going to be 17. Mm. But ma'am, I think... They are saying seven, he, Pulkit is at the 17th position. That means both 17th highest. That means from say first yes. rank all the way till 17th position, he is there, right? And they are saying that he is the 17th lowest, right? So if he is 17th lowest, that means he is 17th position, piche se. That means from here it is going to be around 16, 16 people who are going to be there. So here you have 16, here you have 16, plus he is at the 17th position. So ideally, what should it be? Should it be 34 or should it be 33 as per all of you now? 35. So 16 plus 1 plus 16 because Pulkit is sitting on the 17th position yeah. from the start as well as from the end. Yes, that was the tricky part over here. Mm. Yes. I got 14%, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so round one. So round one, we have 40 and 14. 14. <laughs> okay, let's write it over here. Kids. But no, I know ma'am. I think that was a... Tricky one. Yeah, that was yeah. quite tricky. Actually, it was not tricky. It was simple. But I think these are kind of the silly mistakes you make yes. in math, right? Yeah. So fastest ke chakkar mein hum thodi thodi chod chod cheeze miss kar dete. So it's okay. But you know now, you can ask this question to your friends and check if they can get the yeah. answer right. Okay. Chalo. Now it's time for round two. Two, which is time trick. Okay. Ready? Okay, buckle up everyone. So, question number three. Okay, now this will be Arsh ma'am's team. Let's read the question and see. Sonal remembers visiting her aunt on a Friday after 24th of the month. If the sixth day of that month was Sunday, then determine the day Sonal visited her aunt. So, you have to tell Sonal aunt se kab mile hai. Hai? So, Sonal remembers visiting her aunt on Friday. So, she met her aunt on Friday or that was after 24th of that month. Hai? 24th ke baad she is meeting her aunt. If the sixth day of that month is Sunday, so the sixth day is Sunday, then you have to tell Sonal kab apni aunt ko visit kiye thi. Chalo, quickly. Kids, we'll write the score correctly. I think, ma'am, in the previous slide, you swapped the scores. So that's why they're constantly saying wrong, wrong, wrong. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. They'll not... My yeah, mom. yeah, ma'am will correct it. You pay, listen to ma'am. <laughs> then you do say this. And we're not ignoring you. We have close to 200 people in the live. Lots of love to all of you from both of us. Yes. <laughs> chalo, 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 jaldi se. Try this question out. Thoda sa. Use your pens. Thoda sa likhna padega. Dekho zara kya bol rahe. Okay. Okay. Question samaj nahi Question I'll explain later. First try it on your own. Yes. So basically you have to identify when Sonal went to visit her aunt. Huh. The date. Date. Right? So you just try to identify that. Okay. Because if ma'am explains the question to you, you will get the answer. <laughs> hey, ma'am didn't decrease my score. <laughs> I got only that much. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia is like pro ma'am. <laughs> okay. So, dekhe zara. So, we have the poll. 111 votes we got. Chaldi, chaldi se answer karne ki koshish karo. We have almost 200 students watching live. Chaldi se. So, okay. ma'am, uh, leading contender is uh, option C. It is between option C and option A. Yes. It is now 30-30% each. Mm. A and C. Okay. Lots of confusion going on. Th 
Thank you, Ketram. Thank you so much. <laughs> and hey, Rohit, we are doing great. All right. So, shall we close the poll, everybody? Okay, closing the poll right now. So, thirty-one percent students are giving A as the option, and which is the right answer over here? So, thirty-one is the score. ठीक है, for this particular question, I'm writing thirty-one over here. So, let's see कि कैसे करना था. सीधी सी बात है, देखो, Sonal remembers visiting her aunt on Friday. So, that is clear कि Sonal अपनी आंटी से मिलने गई Friday को. ठीक है? एंड डेट के बारे में क्या बताया द डेट इज आफ्टर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर मंथ मतलब बेसिकली लास्ट वीक में शी इज गोइंग टू विजिट हर आंट राइट ओके नाउ इफ द सिक्स डे ऑफ दैट मंथ वॉज संडे तो अगर किसी मंथ में सिक्स डे सो आई एम राइटिंग ओवर हेयर सिक्स डे इज संडे तो मुझे बताओ लास्ट वीक तक कैसे पहुंचेंगे तो मतलब थ्री वीक्स आगे जाना है हमें सेवन थ्री इज ट्वेंटी वन सो इफ आई एड ट्वेंटी वन डेज टू इट आई विल गेट ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ डे तो ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ डे भी तो संडे होगा Yes or no? Twenty seventh day will also be Sunday, right? So, मतलब अब after twenty fourth she is meeting her aunt and that too on Friday. If twenty seventh is Sunday, तो Friday कब होगा? Yes, Friday होगा twenty fifth को. So that was the solution. Okay, सबको समझ में आया? Yes, everybody. Okay. So Ashwarya, ma'am is just giving me the space to write. <laughs> yeah, otherwise ma'am will be writing everywhere else. So yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, many of you were very confused, right? I think ma'am, they were quite uh, worried about how to go about the question. You got the, you saw the question and only you got scared. Hey, don't be. How many of you want this explanation to happen once more? Any more doubts, or shall we move on to the next one? Right? Lot of explain again, explain again is coming. Any more explanations that you want? I am yes. not confused. No, no, me. Oh, ma'am, many okay. me's are there. Okay, so confused. They go. There's one thing clear in this question: that she was meeting her. She went to meet her aunt on Friday. And on Friday, ko she met her aunt. But the information that is given to us is Friday, ko she is meeting her aunt. That is the day we know. But date ke baare mein, what is the information given to us? That after twenty fourth, she is going to meet her aunt, right? So, ठीक है. So twenty fourth ke baad wala date hoga, and Friday is going to be the day. Now there is one more information given to you. That is sixth day is the sixth day of that month is Sunday. Now if sixth day is Sunday, so six plus seven, it will be the next week. That will also Sunday plus seven more. वो सेवन डे फिर से संडे आएगा देन सेवन प्लस सेवन लास्ट वीक कौन सा होगा फोर्थ वीक नो तो आई एडेड सेवन थ्री टाइम्स सो आई वेंट टू द लास्ट वीक तो थ्री टाइम्स मीन्स ट्वेंटी वन डेज आई एडेड टू दैट सिक्स तो कितना बन गया ट्वेंटी सेवन तो मतलब ट्वेंटी सेवन को भी संडे होगा क्लियर तो ट्वेंटी सेवन डेट इज संडे बट शी वेंट टू मीट हर आंथ ऑन फ्राइडे तो संडे को इफ देर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन तो सैटरडे को होगा ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड फ्राइडे को होगा ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सो दैट्स वाई ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर मंथ शी वेंट टू मीट हर आंट ओके क्लियर नाउ यस मूविंग ऑन एवरीबडी ओके सराना मैम वेलकम सून राइट प्लीज डोंट स्पैम थैंक यू निमिशा Exam prep for Rohit and many others. It will happen, right? Yes. And most importantly, both of us are not ignoring you. We have close <laughs> to one ninety people. If we have only two eyes, no. Sometimes we'll miss comments. Yes. So please don't mind that. Moving on, everybody. We're going to pick up the pace now, right? So I need mm. you to focus. If the day before yesterday, oh, this is easy. I feel like I'll redeem myself for this question. <laughs> <laughs> If day before yesterday was Saturday, I. Was Saturday? What day will fall on the day after tomorrow? Very simple, right? If the day before yesterday, so I don't want to solve it, but I want you to try doing it yourself. If the day before yesterday was Saturday, what will be day after tomorrow? I feel like I simplify. I oversimplified <laughs> the question. <laughs> See this. All tact, all tactics to get points. This is why yes. they'll be like. Saurabh sir keeps telling us, "No, I'm just cheating." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I think for this question, eighty, ninety percent should answer the, right, you know, answer Please. correctly. Right? <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> this is an easy one, but sir, this is a very, very, very easy question. Yes. Oh, ma'am, I can see that fifty-five uh, percent are saying D. Hmm. Many of them are saying C. Okay, twenty-six percent though. Yeah. So there's a C or D. My confusion going on. Hmm. Hmm. 
ओके ऑलमोस्ट वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी वन सेवेंटी वोट्स इन सो आई थिंक मैम वी कैन क्लोज द पोल्स राइट यस ओके सो कै शैल वी क्लोज द पोल्स ऑल राइट यस आई एम राइटिंग फिफ्टी वन हियर एंड दिस ऑफ कॉज इज द करेक्ट आंसर Yes. So I was actually going to give you a clue, and then later you will tell, Mom. They call me Leekosaurus very popularly. <laughs> yes. So if today is where we are, like assuming today is the day, and if day before yesterday was Saturday, what will be day after tomorrow? Right? Your day after tomorrow? Oh, day before yesterday. I'm, I'm right, no? Saturday. The day Sunday. before yesterday was Saturday. Yes. Ha. So then today is today will be Monday. Monday. Because Saturday, Sunday, this will be Monday. Day after tomorrow, it's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday. right? So correct answer here is option D, Wednesday. Yes. So with this, I think Arsh ma'am had forty points and mm-hmm. ma'am got thirty-one. Thirty-one, right? But at to- totaling your uh, okay, round okay. one points, cool. You got seventy-one. Yes. And I had fourteen, and now I got fifty-one, right? So that's sixty-five. Oh, not bad. Hmm. Nice. So now after two rounds, we are here. Three more rounds to go. Okay. So moving on to the round number three, which is relationship maze. Okay. So blood relation ke questions are coming on your way. So get ready, everybody. So here comes your question number one. That is, okay. Let's read the question. Pointing towards a girl singing on the stage. Matthew says her mother is the only daughter of my mother-in-law who is Matthew to the girl so you have to tell the relation of Matthew to the girl oh. is he your father uncle brother or husband chalo jaldi se jaldi se batao thoda sa ye blood relation thodi rishtedari nikalni padegi yahan pe dhyan se <laughs> yeah i get confused in this all the time i'm i'm very uh, i will admit it takes me quite some time What is Matthew? Matthew is a guy's name. Ha, huh, it's the name of Ayyo. the guy who is pointing to the girl. So he's the guy who is pointing to the girl and telling that that her mother is the only daughter of my mother-in-law. Means Matthew's mother-in-law. So you have to tell what is the relationship between Matthew and girl. Matthew uh, girl ka kya hai? Matlab is he a father, uncle, brother or husband? So ma'am as per our polls, uh, 33% for option A mm-hmm. so far. uh but okay. there's a competition between father and husband okay so generation gap check karo bachcha <laughs> check the generation gap or you can draw like family tree ah, draw a family tree it would be much much easier yeah not good in blood relation koi baat nahi it's okay try it out but kids if you're enjoying this class i hope you're seeing it in the live the likes that are there because as we all know we should have at least 300 likes on this video Yes. <laughs> I'll set unrealistic targets like this. <laughs> so I think our kids can meet those targets, right? Yeah. Ha, ah, they can at least try. Yes. Ashwarya ma'am is best. Yes. <laughs> We know that. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay. So, how many ma'am uh votes? 178 votes in 35% have voted for option A. We can close the votes. Okay. So option A is the correct one. Thirty-five percent students have given the right answer. Very good. अच्छा तो चलो blood relation देखते हैं कैसे बना है. Yes, my dear. All this. <laughs> so यहाँ पर pointing towards the girl singing on the stage. Now we have a girl. So I'm making a girl over here. Matthew is singing. Matthew is somewhere. Let's say Matthew is standing here. He's pointing towards the girl and he's saying that girl's mother. that girl's mother so i'm making i'm writing mother over here that girl's mother is the only daughter of my mother in law matlab matthew's mother in law means matthew's wife's basically matthew's wife's mother right matthew's wife's mother so he is saying that this girl that this girl's mother is the only daughter is the only daughter of my mother in law theek hai to yahan pe kya hua what is it ma'am please speak in hindi acha ha i am speaking in hindi only hindi english both to yahan pe aapko batana hai who is the matthew to the girl to matthew ka girl se kya relation hai to matthew's mother in law means matthew's wife's mother 
and that girl's mother is the only daughter that means that girl that girl's mother is basically matthew's wife only right wo matthew ki wife ho gayi and that means this little girl who he is pointing to the stage that girl is his daughter only so matthew and girl ka relationship kya ho gaya father and daughter ka relationship ho gaya means that matthew is father of that little girl क्लियर थोड़ा सा ट्रिकी होता है बच्चा ये क्वेश्चंस इस तरीके के थोड़े से ट्रिकी होते हैं बट हाँ थोड़ा सा ट्री वगैरह बना के आप समझने की कोशिश कर सकते हो व्हाट इज मैथ्यू मैथ्यू इज द नेम ऑफ द गाय यस इट्स लिटिल ट्रिकी आई नो दैट दीज क्वेश्चंस आर लाइक दैट ओनली या यू नीड अल बिट प्रैक्टिस इट्स नॉट अबाउट सेंग दैट यू डोंट नो समथिंग इट्स जस्ट अबाउट गेटिंग सम प्रैक्टिस राइट हाँ आई नो दिस इज दैट इज एक्जैक्टली वट आई सेट फूर वी वाई वाई कुड यू जस्ट सी दैट्स माई डॉटर ऑन स्टेज that's where <laughs> we'd like to you know think about yeah. this that's why these questions are called reasoning questions so they improve your logical thinking yeah okay. very very good yes what is matthew no who is matthew matthew is a guy yeah i matthew like is the name of that guy <laughs> i like how you guys are such interesting <laughs> questions moving on okay. next one question number 6 a man said to a lady your mother's husband's sister is my aunt how is that lady related to that man this is a little um, see just like see now you know the technique right arsh ma'am taught you the technique just draw everything and draw arrows and all of that i'm telling you it's going to be easy right hey nobody is ignoring what is all this yeah. pu anushka all of you saying ma'am ignoring we can't ignore you guys we are reading all your messages don't worry about it just that one or two would have been missed that's all <laughs> okay so let's read the question again dobara se dekho zara tree banane ki koshish karo yahan pe so a man said to a lady your mother's husband's sister is my aunt <laughs> how is that lady related to that man now the way you said it it, it looked so dramatic <laughs> yeah hey, no i mean i'm assuming right like i said dekhi could have just said that's my daughter on stage ha ah. so maybe he wanted to be dramatic like this indirectly ha ah. so ma'am c is getting a lot of votes right now abhi now there is competition between a and c okay yeah very close ma'am because everybody knows ignoring is a key word for attention i know <laughs> That's why in the beginning of the normally like, like when we take theory classes, I always say if you say that I'm ignoring you, I'm yeah. not. <laughs> oh, so ma'am, I think now the fact that you taught them the technique, many of they, them are yeah, confidently they, telling the answer. Yes. So majority is giving the correct answer over here. Oh. Oh my God. Percentage is increasing. Very yeah, good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, we can close the votes now before this person <laughs> changes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good strategy. <laughs> yeah, I. This one Anita Ma'am does. <laughs> okay, so C, sister, is the right answer. Very good, all of you. Very good. Now, of course, I I will try my best to explain this. But see, now you know there is a man. Okay, I'll draw it at the bottom. There is a man. There is a lady. right and he says that your mother okay so this girl's mother's husband right husband's sister is my aunt okay so that means mother's husband's sister is also her aunt and if it is going to be his her aunt as well as his aunt that means that this lady right here is nothing but his sister see the way he's calling his sister and he's telling this but <laughs> yes correct answer here is option c which is sister, sister. so ma'am i think 51% got it right no mm, 51 and previously how many were there did you didn't you write it down no <laughs> let's assume there were like 50 people we'll give arsh ma'am some points no, no 50 there people were less there were less i think 40 were there 30 40 okay so i was at 65 65 plus 1 uh 65 plus 51 so that's like ma'am 100 oh my god i feel embarrassed to do the math in front of arsh ma'am suddenly okay. but yeah so 65 plus uh we are at where like what was the score let's uh, let's just count the like are <laughs> no no it's there in this chill only like 65 plus, plus 51 
plus 51. So we have 116. 16 and you one. were at uh, 71 plus 30, you are at 100. Yeah. 71 plus 30, no, 101. Yeah. Chal. Yes, I'm leading. Okay, so Ashwarya Ma'am is winning these rounds. Okay, great, great, great. Chalo. Now moving on to the round number four, which is our last second round of the day. So there are total 10 questions. So jaldi se. Hidden gems. Now this is a very interesting one. Yeah. And easy peasy also. Looks like some treasure hunt. <laughs> yes. Ma'am, you both have terrible drawing. Hey, what to do? <laughs> what? I have terrible oh. drawings. This is the first time I'm hearing this. <gasps> I'm taking I, this as a personal <laughs> attack. <laughs> I think we both are the one who always get, ma'am, you yeah. have good handwriting. We are the two people with good handwriting that are saying we are drawing terribly. <laughs> I think Saurabh Sar and Ankita Mom will celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now, hidden gems. Ready, everyone? So here is our very first question. In each of the following phrases, there may be a hidden number. For instance, in the height table, H is hidden in height. Okay, so you have to find the number number. Okay, written in these words. So which of the following does not contain a hidden number? So you have to tell me which is a hidden number. Nahi hai. Okay. They've given question. you an example also. <laughs> Munendra, you ask all that after class. No, you watch our sessions, you'll get to know how our <laughs> handwriting is. Don't judge us on the basis of this particular session. <laughs> yeah, now we're sharing tablets and, yeah. you know, doing all that. There's very less space for us to write, so we are just finding space. <laughs> yeah. So it's hidden somewhere. Hmm. Ma'am, I didn't understand question. Okay, the question is, see, over here, it, over here there's written height table, right? So in height table, can you find the number hidden between this... These the two word. words basically. So 8, E-I-G-H-T, 8 is the number. So you have to find the one option that does not contain the hidden number. Okay. You have to find a hidden number between these words. You know so, you can change, oh can you change, you can't change your polls. But ma'am I think right now there's a huge competition going on between B and C. Mm, okay. And now, okay, if you let some of, oh, it's all very close. Huh. Between B, C and D. What happened? You just have to find the numbers. Zara dhyan se dekho. Chupe hue hai. Okay. I think they're, they're not reading the question. Mm, yes. Properly. Read the question. Question says, which of the following does not? Not ke liye hum aapko hamesha ready karte hai. Not. Chalo, I think we can close the poll. Yes. Let's close the poll. Confused? Koi baat nahi. Abhi dekhte hai. Abhi aapko lega ma'am. Achha, ye tha question. So, D is the right answer. So, 25 students gave the right answer. 20, yeah. Yes. 25%. 25%. Okay. So, now, let's find the words over here. So, in the first Paris evening, where is the word? S-E-V-E-N. Seven is the word hidden here. Then we have van in Egypt. So we have nine. Nine, nine is there. Then in last words we have two. Huh, okay. I think C was the, this one. The two was something that was there. Yes. So you had to find the hidden words. So hidden numbers. So ye tha. So aapka question tha. Kiss option mein hidden number nahi hai. So sab mein tha. So the right answer over is none of them. And see how ironically the answer is none of them. <laughs> yeah. And there is one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. So ye thoda sa ho sakta hai ki word mein khel gaya aapke saath. It's okay. Chalo. Next question. Deke, we'll give you bonus love for this round. <laughs> <laughs> how much love you want? Tell us. Yeah. How much numbers? How, what? Like how we'll draw kaju katli for all of you. Kaju katli for all of you. <laughs> yes. Okay, love is there. And ma'am, I think we'll give you 50% uh, and... Uh -huh. um, nee, nee, they nee, want points nee, anyway. Nee, no. I won't be able to adjust, ma'am. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you chocolate, gems, whatever is it you want. We'll draw. Kaju Katli. Ma'am, you can draw one Kaju Katli okay, here. So I'm giving you one Kaju Katli. Yeah. It looks like a kite though. Yes. The, which is why we're adjusting with Kaju Katli. <laughs> and infinity love, right? <laughs> See, Kaju Katli is very costly also. See, we're giving Kaju Katli like yes. this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ha, this is for the fact that none may one was there. So we will move on to the next one. Yes. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Question number eight. Whoa. It's a long question. Oh, this is. <laughs> looking at this only, I am getting scared. But let's do this together. Right? 
There are 32 employees in a bank, okay? Working in three shifts. Now we require a lot of, uh, what do you say, drawing to do, right? So there are 32 employees in a bank working in three shifts. The first group of eight employees work from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Second group of 14 employees work from 10 a.m. to 1, 1 p.m. Third group is 10 employees working from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. If there are only six computers available, find the time during which the computers will be used the most, right? Who will use it the most? Now, ma'am, can I help them out? Because I know they'll be a little yeah, scared yes. looking at the whole thing. Yes, I'll go out. Yeah. Oh, 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 ma'am, no. <laughs> Just draw a flow chart, okay? See, when you're doing this, you have a total of 32 employees, right? Three ships are there. So, what do you need to do, right? So, now I'm just going to take Arsh ma'am's space and make it into three, okay? Why am I not able to see that? Oh, it is right behind me. I was drawing behind me. So, you'll have to draw in three shifts, yes? So, first shift is going to be with eight people, right? Working between nine to eleven, okay? Now, next is going to be 14 people working between 10 to 1. The last is going to be 10 employees working from 11 to 1, right? So, now you need to identify mm -hmm. in which time slot. Understand that there is two hour time slot. Uh, Ravi, can we have the poll? 9 to 11, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 11 to 1. Yes, yes, poll aega, poll aega. You had some time to think also now. Before the poll came. Which will be the most busiest? Think about it. Everybody quickly. Right? Okay. Many of you. Ma'am, I think you can be back. Men, because I will need Arsh ma'am's help for this. <laughs> so, okay. of course, everyone, as you all know, ma'am, many of them are voting between B and D. B and D. So, over here, if you read a question, so 8 people are working between 9 to 11, 14 people are working between 10 to 1, and 10 people are working between 11 to 1. So, we have to find the common time. Okay, we need to find the common time where they are working. So, if you see over here... So, ma'am, I think you will have to swap places so that you don't yeah. rewrite this. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, over here, in the first group, I can see 10 to 11 wala time I can take common. Yes. In the second group, 10, again, people are working from 10 to 11. So, how many total people are working in these two time slots? There are 14 plus 8. How many are 22 people, right? But there is one more time slot. Which time slot is 11 to 1, right? If I talk about 11 to 1 ka slot. So if you see over here, 11 to 1, 14 people are working from 11 to 1 in the second group. And 10 people are working from 11 to 1 in the third group as well. There are two groups. 11 to 1 mein jahan pe time, uh, jahan pe kaam kar rahe log. So that means 14 plus 10, 24 people are using the computers in the time slot 11 to 1, right? Yes or no? Sorry, 11 to 12. Yes. So is it clear to everyone? One second. 11 to 1 is the right answer. 11 to 1. Yes. 11 to 1. This is the right answer. D, 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 D. D is the right answer over here. Clear? Yes. So, the correct answer over here is D. Confusion ho gaya? Kya confusion hoa? Can Aapko can... common time slot dekhne hai jahan pe sabse zada log kaam kare aur computers ko use kare. Correct? Right? So, 11, ka, 11 to 1 wala slot kaun se group, kaun kaun se group use kare? 14 people. 14 people are working between 11 to 1 and 10 more people are working from 11 to 1. Total kitne ho 24. Right? So, 24 people are working from 11 to 1 ka slot and 22 people are working from 10 to 11 ka slot. So, we maximum wala batana hai, most wala. So, that's why D is the right answer. Clear? Ma'am, how is your hand Because my hand yeah. is coming like this. See, for this, I really needed a lot of, you know, 
needed a lot of help with from Arsh ma'am because this was not an easy question. Neither was it easy for you. Neither was it easy for me. But I know some of you are still pretty confused. But not to worry. We'll be having a lot of such classes coming up yes. very soon for all of you. So just stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. And also, if you want like more reasoning question, if you want such sessions. ठीक है टू डेवलप योर लॉजिकल रीजनिंग डू लेट एस नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन या ठीक है वो बताते रह करो हमें यस सो विद दिस एवरीवन आई थिंक वी विल हैव द फाइनल स्कोर बोर्ड मैम सो आई थिंक यू आर यू आर एट आई थिंक नाउ वी हैव टू स्वॉप प्लेसेस या यस सो एट लास्ट व्हेन वी चेकड आइशरा मैम वाज एट 116 राइट या 116 एंड नाउ 116 एंड वी हैड अराउंड 30 20 पीपल हु गॉट इट राइट 20 21 i think we didn't check the last part okay so, so it's okay 137 yes and you were at uh, 126 you were at 126 yeah 25 mm. got it right so very close right yes yes very very close ha ha ma'am 28% ah 28 mm. so ma'am i think uh, 116 plus 28 okay so we got 144 I like this. <laughs> so now we'll go on to the last round, which is actually a pretty easy one, right? But not so easy for me because I am a little challenged with direction. Direction. To be honest, I get uh, when I give directions to people, I need to say right, left all the time. Like I can't <laughs> just immediately say this is left or this is right. I'm a little directionally challenged. But for many such people, there's going to be a direction dilemma where we have the last two questions, yes. right? Yes. So now we'll quickly move on to yours. Question number nine, everyone. This is the last second question of the day, and the question says, P is in the north direction of Q. Q is in the east direction of R. R is in the south direction of S. S is in the west direction of P. In which of the direction of P <laughs> is R standing? आपको बताना है R कहाँ पे stand कर रहे हैं? देखो direction के questions करने से पहले हमेशा आपको एक graph बना लेना है वो मैं यहाँ पे बना के दिखा देती हूँ ऐसे direction का ऐसे graph बना लो कभी भी confusion नहीं होगा yeah ठीक है so this is my north this is my south this is my east this is my west अब accordingly start placing the these uh, you know P Q R S according to the question इनके directions के हिसाब से इसको place करो जल्दी से try it out आपको बताना है in which direction of P R is standing. आपको बताना है P के रिस्पेक्ट में R कहां पे खड़े हैं पोजिशन ऑफ R विद रिस्पेक्ट टू P. अगर मैं P से देखूं तो R कहां पे है यू हैव टू टेल लाइक दैट द पोल इज देयर एवरी वन मैम इज लाफिंग बिकॉज मैम एस्केप्ड विद वन क्वेश्चन वन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन वॉज देर वेरी ऑल आंसर एंड आई गॉट माई गुड यू से दैट मोमेंटम Yeah. I made my uh, lead and buffer and everything with that one question because after that all the ones are tough. I feel like the next one is also going to be tough for me. Ah, but I think they are uh, helping you out pretty well. <laughs> Honey, Our yes. Our kids are like super smart. Anna? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So answer I have here. So almost hundred votes in, and ma'am, many of them are voting for option B, southwest. Almost fifty-seven percent uh, mm. is voting for southwest. Okay. So shall we close the poll? Yes, ma'am. Hundred and ten. Everybody, quickly before we wind up the poll. Last one, two, three, four, five, and we can close the poll. Yes. So, ma'am, almost fifty nine percent have voted for B. Okay, fifty nine percent has given the right answer. Okay, so southwest is the correct answer. चलो देख लेते हैं कैसे आया. Okay, P is in the north direction of Q. मतलब P is in the north direction of Q. If Q is here, P is on the north of Q, right? Then Q is in the east direction of R. Q is sitting on the east of R. If R is here, so Q is sitting on the east side of R. देखो, east पे तो है, right? Then R is in the south direction of S. So if R is in the south direction of S, मतलब if R is here, तो S के south में R is sitting. ठीक है, so R is sitting at the south of S, right? तो वो भी हो गया. Then 
the other sentence is s is in the west direction of p now you can see s is over here p is over here and definitely s is on the west of p now you have to tell me what is the position of r with respect to p if i am standing here at p position and i am looking at r to so r kahan pe hai r is definitely here which is the south west of south west direction of p right so that's why b is the correct answer over here well done now moving on to the last question for today last question everyone i hope you are all ready and we'll wind it up soon right so the question is there are four people okay there's avi sam pooja and prem who are playing cards okay now you are see now you can see that pooja and prem are in the same pair that means you have pooja why is this ah you have pooja and prem okay they are sitting on the same they are the same pair that means that means they are sitting on the same side now avi's face is towards north okay so that means that let's assume that you have avi okay avi's face is towards north okay if pooja's face is towards west now you have to rearrange everyone so now let's go back and draw i think i'll come back on this side so you have north oops south <laughs> then you have east and then you have west right so now they're saying ki avi is facing towards north that means avi will be somewhere here right facing north and they're saying ki pooja's face is towards the west okay so pooja's face is if it's towards the west pooja will be looking this side and you can all you know that since they are on the same side right even your um, who's this guy prem he is also sitting right by her then whose face will be pointing south whose face would be pointing towards south answer to is very easy right pole is there okay very easy question this should be your votes are in icc hoga soon yes everybody very quickly <laughs> no we're just going out so that the other person has space okay it's nothing else Okay, so ma'am, many of them are saying B, 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 B. Almost one hundred plus vo plus votes in. Sixty three percent is saying that answer is B. Sixty six now. Okay. Oh. So how many votes? One thirty plus votes in. Everybody in the next five minutes, quickly. I mean five seconds, quickly vote. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Now. I think we can close the poll. Sixty-eight percent. Very good. Very good, all of you. Very, very good. Right? Correct answer here is option B. Sam. Okay. So, ma'am, with this, I think. Yeah. Yay! Ashurya, ma'am, won the quiz. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I like how I took all the help I need from you guys and ma'am. So final scores are of course one eighty five. But hey, Akash ma'am gave you kaju katli and infinity love also. Just saying that you guys have got some extra points from Arsh ma'am also. Yes. And two hundred and five for Ashwara. Because these are actually your points. Yeah. है ना सब आपके points हैं. Well actually, done. Actually three ninety is their marks. Yes. Out of like say four hundred, no? Yes. So because when you, you think about it, really well. it's all you. And I think thank you, ma'am, for having such an amazing quiz today. Yeah. We enjoyed a lot today, yeah. no? And we loved a lot because Ashwarya, ma'am, यहाँ पे आ गई हैं बहुत मजा आया, ठीक है? It was a fun session, really. I enjoyed like like hell. Yeah. <laughs> and as you all know, right? When it comes to logical reasoning, see, we can always come and just tell you that this is what it is, this is what it is, and you can learn. But of course, first and foremost, there's a team that works in making sure that you enjoy what you do. So first of all. You know, if you enjoyed this class, let let us know in the comments of this video. Tell that Arshman, Ashravam, Sarup Sir, and team were the ones who made this possible. Yes. Secondly, if you like such classes, you have to let us know in the mm. comments of this video right. as well. Because, ma'am, I think all the Olympiads are going to be soon. They're going to get mm. started around October, October and November, everything. Yes. So, sooner so, your preparation, the better for you. Yes. And I think, ma'am, our channel is the place to be, right? Yes. So we get you prepared for. Everything, not only the school exams, so we get you ready 
for the Olympiads as well. ठीक है reasoning हो गया logical reasoning, Olympiads हो गया everything we take care of. So basically you just have to tell us कि ma'am we want these sessions, so we'll come up with such sessions for you. Okay? So बस comments comment section का use करना है और हमें वहीं पर convey करते रहना है कि ये चाहिए ठीक है चलो सो थैंक यू सो मच एंड एवरीबडी आई होप एवरीबडी आउट देयर लाइक द सेशन एज we can see that yeah. you really enjoyed the class so do hit the like button as well and do subscribe to the channel because we bring you quality content over here right so with that note ma'am i think we can sign off we'll see you all soon everybody but up yeah. until then take care lots of love and bye bye bye